Thank you, yeah. That'd be brilliant. Yeah, thanks, bye. Who was that? Social services. I'm gonna go see Tom. What, now? Yeah, now. That's fantastic. Are you coming? Yeah, of course I am. I miss Tom just as much as you do. But listen, you can't be kicking off. We've got to put up a united front, all right? Show them that we're decent people. Even though we're murder suspects? We've not been charged yet. No one has. Anyway, Claire's not dead. Yeah, and until she wakes up, tells me we're trying to do her in. we still got the police breathing down our necks. Wasn't a few other people. All I care about right now is Tom. Yeah. We'll get him back. Hello, you. Come here. You're very quiet. Why aren't you saying anything? Tom! Do you not like your new foster family? You want to come home with us, don't you? I don't think we should be discussing this now. Is that a new toy? Diana gave it me. Diana? You foster mum. She's nice. She looking after you, okay? I almost forgot. I brought you some sweets. You can have a sweet. It will spoil my tea. Ah, I think the boy has a strategy. For. That's a good move. I can't believe it. Well, you let him win. He's just too good for us. He was two against one. Okay, you let him win. In that case, it was your fault. It was your fault. Your fault. It was your fault. Yours. Your fault. Your fault. <laughs> stupid, stupid <laughs> your fault. Your <laughs> fault. Come on, Tom. Tell you want to come on with us, or we can go right now. I'll say it again, Max. It's not an appropriate time for this. What do you say? Come on with us. I'm not allowed. You are allowed. If this is about Claire, she's not there anymore. She can't hurt you. We'll make sure of that. Come on, come on. OK, that's enough for today. Oh, Let's go. Can we at least say goodbye? Sorry, Max. We have to go. Come on. <laughs> Look, just sit down and we'll have a think, okay? What is there to think about? How to get Tom back? You saw him. He's happy there. No, he's being looked after. He's not happy. It was like I was a stranger to him. He wouldn't even take sweets off me. Does he think we're murderers as well? No, of course he doesn't. He's just... Claire, she's, she's brainwashed him, that's all. He hates me. No, he, he loves you to bits. I saw how he looked at you. How it was hurting him not to come back here with us. Well, how did Claire get to him then? I don't know. Where are you going? The hospital. Oh, yeah, good idea. Because that'll get Tom back going down there causing the scene. Mate, listen to me. Just calm down. I want to know what she said to him. I know. But we're not going to find out until she wakes up. If she wakes up. Are you going to tell me where you got to last night, or do I have to guess? If you like. I went to see Claire, didn't you? Yeah. After you told me to stay away from her? Well, I couldn't just sit here and do nothing. Well, you should have listened to yourself. I bet she was straight on to the police, saying you'd been round there threatening her. 
She agreed to see social services today. What, and you really think she's going to turn up? She gave me a word. Oh, did she? Oh, well, what are we so worried about then? Look, you weren't there, all right? You don't know what went on. What's that supposed to mean? Hey. What happened? I just scared myself, mostly. It's not nice, seeing what you might be capable of. Right, well, let's go. Don't want to be late for Tom, do we? Could be here by now. Even if Claire admits that she lied, it might not change anything. What? They can take time away on one person's say-so, but they can't give him back. But it's not just Claire's word, is it? They interviewed Tom as well. And he was scared because she got to him! <laughs> They don't know that. They will when Claire tells them. And what if they think you threatened her? What are you saying, OB? This is all one big waste of time. No, I don't know. I don't know how any of this works, do I? What we can do is be there for Tom. Make sure that he's OK and tell him how much we miss him. I'm not leaving here without him. You might not have any choice. Tom. In there, please, Tom. Can I at least see him? Normal visitation rules don't apply. He's seven years old. He should be with me, not found out to some total strangers. I don't even know who these people are. Mr Cunningham, a decision on whether or not Tom can return home will only be made if Tom is willing and if I'm satisfied that he's in no danger. So you might want to rethink your aggressive manner. I take it this is the right place. Yeah, uh, this way, please, Mrs Cunningham. Wait here, please. Oh, God, how many words she's got to say? That isn't how this works. I'm telling the truth, Claire. Don't worry, Max. I know exactly what I'm going to say. I'll face it. You're screwed. This is a copy of your original statement. So I can see. When Mr Cunningham rang, he said he now wanted to retract this. Is that true? Max can be very persuasive when he wants to be. Look, what would happen if I said that I'd lied? Well, the police will be informed. And then it's up to them if criminal charges are to be made. Right. Before you say anything, I need to be certain that you are here of your own free will. If you've been coerced or here for any other reason than Tom's welfare, you need to speak up now. You off then? I did what I promised. Max and that brat deserve each other. You better not have lied. What are you gonna do? Put both hands around my throat and threaten to kill me. Why are you still here? I'm just leaving, don't worry. The only friend you had is behind bars after trying to kill you. How much more of a hint do you need? Do you know what would happen if you left here for good? Nothing. Because nobody would even notice. Tom, what's wrong? Go on. Ask him. You're going to die. Am I going to die? Of course I'm not. Or whatever you've been told, it's okay. You've got nothing to worry about, I promise. Tell him. He's going to be fine. I mean, uh, You're free to take him home, and can I suggest that from now on you keep Tom and your wife apart? 